Welcome to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build vertical boosters in the game with this Mr. Freeze recreation. Now, this is pretty exciting because up until now, we didn't really have access to any sort of vertical boosters, but I'm going to show you this very simple way to add them to the game. And now to get started with our Mr. Freeze recreation, we need to get the LIM coaster and build the station and then add the entrance and exit buildings. Next, we need to gain access to the boosters, but those pieces are not available right now. So we need to turn on some cheats. So we need to turn on the allow chain lifts on all track pieces, the unlock operating limits, and then allow arbitrary ride type changes, and then make sure you have allow special color schemes on for later. Now we need to change the ride type to the looping roller coaster. This will give us access to the booster piece, so let's set it to the highest level. And then we want to turn the chain lift on. Now I'm going to build 10 of these pieces with the chain lift on, and then I'm going to turn it off for the last two. This is to prevent crashes from a brakes failure breakdown. Now we need to change the operating mode to powered launch without passing station, set the launch to about 20 or 22 miles per hour, and then the lift hill speed to 22 miles per hour or about 35 kilometers an hour. The lift hill chain speed is actually the speed of the vertical booster, and if you change it to LIM coaster, you aren't able to change that. So now we're gonna to go to the vertical drop coaster and build backwards from the station from a flat to vertical, and then turn on the chain lift here for the vertical piece. And that is just to prevent uh, the brakes failure crashes. Now back to LIM coaster, I'm going to use an alternative color scheme and set it to invisible. And then we can paint that rear spike we just built invisible. However, the footers for the support are still showing. So if you open up a scenery object piece, you can just take the base block, turn it invisible, and then place it underneath the support and it'll disappear. Now back to building, we can finally construct the iconic inverted top hat of Mr. Freeze. This is pretty easy. And then from here, it's kind of hard in the game with the limitations to accurately recreate the turnaround for Mr. Freeze, so I'm just going to do my best here with this simple little turn. And then I'm going to build four flat pieces here, and then I will finish the ride off with the vertical spike. And then when we get to the 100 foot mark, I'm going to turn the chain lift on for two pieces. That will be the vertical booster. Turn the chain lift off and finish the vertical spike up to 200 feet. Now I'll show you with the ghost train the ride in action so you can see the vertical booster is working. Now as it goes around, because the vertical boosters are a chain lift, the problem here is it will boost the train up here at 22 miles per hour, and then the chain lift will continue trying to force the train forward on the track. So that's an issue. To solve this problem, we need to understand that vertical track pieces occupy two tiles at the same time. So in the tile inspector, we can check and see which uh, track pieces have the chain lift turned on. So if we look here, we can see that here are the two track pieces with the chain lift turned on in the tile inspector. And if we look at the other pieces, we can see that the chain lift is turned on as well, even though it's an invisible track piece, you can't see it on that tile. So if we delete those two track pieces with the chain lift and rebuild them without the chain lift, I'm gonna paint them so we know which ones we're talking about. These are where we want the boosters, but there's no chain lift on them right now. So in the tile inspector, I'm going to select the track here. That's what we want. Turn the chain lift on. You can also press control and select it and turn the chain lift on, but we don't have the chain lift turned on for the other tile that the track occupies. So now when we test it, it's going to allow the train to get boosted past those track pieces like the chain lift should normally work, but ignores it as it falls backwards. Now, I don't understand the game mechanics, but it works. It was a pretty fun discovery. And then the chain lift on the launch track will slow the train down a little bit as it goes into the station, so it's a little bit more realistic. Now, if there were to be a breakdown, like a safety cutout, it's going to get stuck on the chain lift like normal. So now the train's stuck, and when the ride gets fixed, it will continue being boosted past and then fall backwards. The same thing will happen on the launch. 
it's gonna get stuck with a safety cutout breakdown. But if we fix the ride, it's gonna get propelled forward, but that is why we turned off the chain lift for the last two pieces of that launch, because if we speed it up here, eventually the train will eventually get back to the station and reset itself. So here it's gonna hit the station and then arrive and then it will reset itself. So no matter the breakdown, the ride will still function. And now we can uh, test a brake failure and we can see how having that chain lift on the launch track and then on that invisible vertical spike will stop the train from crashing during a brakes failure. The chain lift will slow it down a little bit on the launch track, but not enough. And then it immediately gets slowed down and it will just continue back and forth until the ride is fixed. And I think the ride gets pretty decent stats. All that's left to do is to use the tile inspector to rotate the entrance and exit so that they will fit on my station platform and build the exit and entrance queues. And now the ride is ready to be opened. And with guests on the train, it is going to run a little bit faster, but everything works as normal. I think this is a pretty accurate recreation of Mr. Freeze, and the only one I've seen with working vertical boosters that doesn't require any shoe stringing. So this is a pretty awesome trick, and I think that the chain lift on the launch track helps slow it down for a more realistic arrival into the station. And I think that all that's left is to make the entrance and exit invisible, which I forgot to do. But if you don't want to go to all of this trouble building it yourself, you can download the track. The link is in the video description below, and you'll just build Mr. Freeze under the LIM coaster and open your tile inspector and make sure you select the track that I've shaded a little bit darker there and turn the chain lift on and do it for those two track pieces there and the ride is ready to go. It's that simple. Now I'd love to see what types of designs and layouts you guys can come up with using this new trick. I haven't explored its full potential yet, but I do know that this trick works not only on the vertical track, but other pieces as well. So here we're looking at a ghost train and the blue is where the chain lift is. The red is where we're going to have to add chain lift. So you can see the ghost train is stuck here, but this piece has two different tiles that it occupies. So using the tile inspector, we will just click on this tile here where the yellow uh, surface is, add the chain lift and you'll see the train can go up and fall backwards. Another track piece is this vertical piece like you've seen before. The same situation here where the train is going up where there's chain lift on the blue track, but when it reaches the red, it gets stuck. So all we do is open the tile inspector, select that piece, add the chain lift and it will fall backwards. But now it's getting stuck on the chain lift from the steep to vertical piece. So again, this piece is occupying two tiles, but the chain lift is turned on for both of them. So we need to go to this tile here and find that in, it's going to be invisible. You can't see the track, but we turn the chain lift off and then now the train can return to the station. And here we have a flat to steep gradual transition and we need to apply the chain lift to the first tile of the track. So now when the train dispatches, the chain lift will propel it all the way across the entire track piece. And then it will return to the station. However, it doesn't really matter if there's chain lift on the rest of the track piece except for the final tile. So if there's chain lift here, it's not gonna be able to return to the station, but if you turn it off, it goes back. So basically, it only matters for that first tile. Here we can see the quarter loop. If we add the chain lift to the first tile of the track, it's gonna go all the way over the entire track piece. And then here, it's gonna return it doesn't matter if I apply a chain lift to the middle tile, it's not going to affect the train. But if we put a chain lift on the last tile of the track piece, it is going to get stuck just like the last example. So we have the chain lift on the first tile and also the last. So when the train returns, it's going to get pushed forward by the chain lift rather than returning and ignoring it. So Basically, if we turn the chain lift off now on that last tile, it is going to return to the station. So basically, this trick works for multi-tile track pieces, as long as you have the chain lift only on the first tile. As you can see here, I've tested it on the large loop, the corkscrew, the barrel roll, 
and this trick works just the same for all of them. Basically any multi-tile track piece can have a chain lift added to it and the train will ignore it as it traverses backwards. So if you set the chain lift to a high enough speed, it will act as a booster. Now I'm still exploring all of the possible uses for this newfound knowledge, but I do have a few ideas already of how this trick can be applied to other rides. So look for that in future videos. And I'd love to see what things you guys can come up with with this new trick. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build this spinning teacup ride. It's really simple and involves no shoestringing. So stay tuned for more.